Hi everybody. So in this uh, short lecture, we'll be talking about the difference between instantaneous rights and accumulative rights. We're going to be using these words a lot. Even we're going to, later on, we're going to use them for yields as well. But uh, it's important to understand what is meant with instantaneous and what is meant with accumulative. So let's get on a bit. So yeah, I've got more or less what we had in the example of the ethanol example the product concentration varying over time and you can see I have these specific points in time where I've stopped everything at certain concentration values at certain time values and at these specific instants in time I want to have a look at well we can say the push of product okay so let's have a look at this first point over here so what we have over here will be on a microbial level it will be a very good push okay um, why would that be so well if we just remember our little gauge effectively when you're just starting out on the microbe level both factories the mu and the theta factory is firing so you are putting that gauge in the maximum this is just the mu one I'm showing at the moment but um, this will be the mass uh, the biomass based rate if you have a look at the volumetric rate or the fermenter based rate and we can put the little icon over here it is a very low cell density initially so volumetrically or fermenter waste you not fermenter wise you're not really giving it a good push okay we can then uh, go slightly on with the curve and at this red point over here we will find that we still have a relatively happy bug so it's still pushing it's not that much ethanol that is formed and we now also have some significant um, biomass in the reactor so the volumetric push from the fermenter is also pretty good in this point over here as we move to the third point over here we can see that growth the green is, is given the biomass profile has terminated okay so this will imply you remember that little gauge right over here at this moment in time we have dropped the mu gauge okay so the push is going to be less because there's no more energy generation from one of our power stations so what we will have at this specific point is a really you can say poorish um, push for on a microbial level or on an R level and you have on a fermenter level or a volumetric level even though you have high cell densities you know, a high cell concentration, as you can see in that yellow, um, you have not a good push because um, all the amount of cells in there are fairly inhibited. And this picture will just continue as we go on to full glucose com completion, where you'd really have a poor cell-based push and also a, a, a poor volumetric push. Just remember, we've said this before, we have the volumetric rates of product that will be the little fermenter pictures and we have the cell based rate of product and you've got to distinguish between the two. So in essence instantaneous rates are the rates returned from the response function at the specific moments in time. Okay, So you can basically evaluate the little um, microbial emoji and the fermenter emoji at moments in time. You cannot do it when we have a look at the objective of the process engineer. So now we can go on to what accumulative mean. Instantaneous is always evaluated at a specific point in time. Accumulative is different because if we talk about the process engineer, he will really only be interested in the final condition. So here we had two fermentations also plotting the product profile and you see that the one over here is fast while the one over here took a lot of time so that final product concentration we can call it cpf final is really what the process engineer will be interested in and in addition he will be interested in how long it took so we can call this the delta t you can see here in the second graph it took much longer okay so accumulative is really throwing everything together in a sense one can say that uh, an, an accumulative will be referred to when we talk about rates 
as productivity. So productivity is really the integral of the averaged fermenter volumetric rates. So um, the volumetric rates integrated is really the average volumetric rate and we can um, for this example we can really just take the final product concentration so these are the concentrations that I've obtained over here and that's when all the glucose over here is depleted and uh, we can just divide that by the delta T um, of the two processes so effectively you can see if we want to put our emojis onto the scene you can see ah So if we want to put our emoji on the scene, the one that is pulling the proper weight, or sorry, pushing the proper weights in terms of rate will be this one because it happens in a short time. And the one that is not pushing the proper weights will be this one. But please note that the process engineer, the bioprocess engineer, considers everything that accumulated over time he's just interested in what we have in the end and not in different instants in time so a cumulative will in a batch system refer to the end condition and you will calculate a average base it's called productivity but it's just an average rate with same units as what we had before for rate